Hello, this video will show you how to get into your Google Plus page, your business page, and add a manager. This is very helpful if you are trying to assign uh, authorization to another person or entity to help manage your Google Plus page for you. So uh, what we'll do is we're, I'm in Google Chrome right now, and as long as you're somewhere you can sign into Google, you are in good shape. But I'm signed into Google right now, and as you'll see, I've got my Gmail over here, and it takes me to all the things that are normal for my personal Google account. Google account is a little bit different than the Google Plus region. So to get into Google Plus, what we we'll want to do is click on this cube of cubes, which gets us into our Google Apps, and select the Google Plus round icon. Immediately, you're going to tell we're in a different place. So right now we've got uh, the, the region where I am in my personal Google Plus account. Now if I click on my profile, you're going to see that it's going to come up with Rachel Moore. This is my personal Google Plus profile. It is not my page. To get to my page, I'm going to go hover over my avatar up here and click on it. Now I can see I've got my personal profile here. And again, it says Google Plus profile. That is different than a page. It's exactly like Facebook. Below that, though, it has a list of any pages of which I am a manager, an assigned manager, so or an owner. So I'm going to click on my Really Social Google Plus page. Now, this may look extraordinarily similar to the last time we entered Google Plus, but if I hover over my avatar, you're going to see it now says it's a Google Plus page that I'm in for Really Social. Also, I'll just show you if I click on my profile, no longer is it my personal profile, this is showing me my Google Plus page profile. To get into the settings, I'm going to have you click up here on the avatar and click on this blue settings. And again, just confirming we are doing the settings for a Google Plus page instead of a profile. Click the settings. Immediately we get into where we need to be. We need these tabs along the top and you'll see the managers tab. I want you to go ahead and click on that. Now. I want to make a point that the only time you can add a manager is if you are the owner of the page. So had I logged into Google Plus as this other manager, and that's my uh, actual Gmail, my Google Plus profile that has my Gmail for my business, that is only a manager at this time. Um, but I, through my rmore.digital, and that's uh, my own kind of business, pers my business use Gmail account, I was the one who created this page through that account, so I am the owner, and signed in is that I now have authorization to add a manager. So to add a manager, all you're going to do is click Add a Manager, and it's very easy. You're going to add their a name or email address. Now, if it's their name, they need to be recognized in the Google Plus region, so you need to know their exact name. I tend to prefer using an email address, and again, you'll want to verify this with the manager you are assigning that you are using a Gmail or a Google Plus access Gmail account before you add them. Otherwise, that's not going to do any good. They're going to have to sign into Gmail, create Google Plus, all those things. You can also select two different methods. You can make them a total manager or simply a communications manager. I tend to just go the way of manager. Then you would enter their email and click inv invite, and it would send them. Uh, an authorization email to confirm through a link that they are authorized and they accept the management of that page. Now I want to also point one other thing out. Uh, I, several days ago, added my other Rachel Really Social at gmail.com Google Plus account as the manager. Now that it has been more than a day since I did that, as the current owner, I can actually transfer ownership to this profile and I want to do that because I want to be able to manage this Google Plus page for my business through my Google Plus business Gmail and Google Plus account. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that ownership. I am really sure that I want to do that. Uh, obviously you can do this as well between other parties. So if you are possibly trying to transfer ownership, you're handing the reins of a social media manager from yourself to another person. All you would need to do is assign them as a manager, wait about two to three days, and then you can go through this process. So I'm going to click OK. All right. So now that other, my Google Plus business account, is the owner of this page. And I am still a manager and can still access it, but now most of the authority lies with that account.
But that is essentially how you add a manager and transfer ownership of a Google Plus page.